In this video, I'll show you how to change the font of a subtitle file so that you can uh, use a particular language or a particular font for your subtitles. Please note that this doesn't work with a subtitle file uh, in the format of SRT because SRT are simple uh, subtitle or plain text subtitle formats. This works with subtitle formats like uh, Advanced Substation Alpha ASS or Substation Alpha SSA. Uh, and this is following a question from Darkhook. Uh, if I want to change the font, uh, what exactly uh, do I have to do? Korean language subtitle SRT doesn't, uh, doesn't support or it's not supported in Premiere Pro. So uh, this is uh, a comment on the video how to change the subtitle color of an SRT subtitle file. So what we need to do here is we need to create an ASS subtitle file. So let's go to subtitle edit. Uh, this is the uh, subtitle file we worked on in the previous video where the comment uh, is in. So we can just right click first and then remove all the formatting. Let's say remove color and uh, we have it back to the original. Now we need to first of all now change this SRT to an ASS. So we just come here, advanced substation alpha, just click on that. And once we do that, advanced substation alpha or ASS subtitle format support styling so what we need to do is just highlight control a uh, so that we can select all the subtitles right click and then we go to uh, advanced substation alpha styles for example by default we have arial as the font now if you want to change to whatever font uh, you have and for this particular case uh, uh, dark hook wants korean so i'm assuming you'll be working with korean subtitles then you'll choose the font that corresponds to your uh, what you want. Uh, so let's say we go for something like what? Uh, let's say Vadana. And you'll notice there's a change here. Uh, let's say uh, we, we can bump up this to about 36. Uh, let's change that to 36. And once you do that, click here. It gets bigger so we've bumped up the font to about uh, 36 points so that's that's the font size uh, and uh, that's uh, what we can do for now so if it was uh, the subtitle was in Korean you can do that now once you do this and the purpose for changing the font is so that you can permanently ban the subtitle to the video you can just click OK or even maybe we can add an opaque box just click on that so you have a black opaque box and it takes the outline color. Uh, and uh, it's it's this, if you change it to whatever you want here, it changes, but let's uh, let's stick uh, with black. Okay, uh, black is good, just click okay. So this is what you'll get if you change uh, the font and uh, the font size, but I think that's, that's too big. So let's go back to advanced substation. Let's go back to 20 uh, points. That's okay. Just click OK. And the subtitle is back uh, to a good size. So we've changed the font from Arial to Vardana. Now, what we need to do is come to File, Save As. It's going to have uh, the default as Advanced Substation Alpha. Uh, we can just take this out. And then uh, let's say uh, Font Change. Let's click on Save. And then you need to ban this to your video. Let's go to Handbrake uh, because that's the sole intention for uh, changing the font so that you can permanently ban it into the video. Open your file and then let's say we open the video. Here we go. It's open. Now the next thing we need to do is check out for the subtitles, import subtitle. Uh, when we need this, this is the ASS Advanced uh, Substation Alpha. Click on that, click on open, and then we uh, need to check ban in right here. And then once you're satisfied with what you want, just click on start and code. And it's going to uh, blaze through that uh, in a couple of seconds because the video is a short one. So let's just give it like a minute or two, a uh, couple of seconds, uh, really, nothing much. Uh, and then we can just go to a folder. Let's go to videos and it's uh, 
this it should be let's say date modified this particular video so if we just uh, uh, double click or right click play with VLC with the recent update on the YouTube interface you'll notice that the subtitle has the Vadana uh, font available uh, that's what we have across the board with the black background that we just set so uh, I hope this answer is satisfactory for Duckhook on how you can change the font uh, uh, if you're using a different language if you want to use a different font for your subtitles but please remember they have to be permanently banned in the video uh, you can't have the subtitle uh, on the side especially if you're uploading to YouTube YouTube will scrape off all that type of formatting that you have done to your subtitle so I hope that answers and thank you for asking the question uh, take care and I hope you've learned something thank you for watching